Hello everyone and welcome back to SoCaliRific. Today we are back here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I am starting the day off in CityWalk because there's a little update that I wanted to show you, but we will be heading into the park. I'll take a walk around and see if there's anything new. So come along and let's go. Here at Universal Studios CityWalk, they do have new photo ops for the Super Mario Bros movie. They look super cool. We got the warp pipe and we got some wraps around the windows get a little closer look at the warp pipe art design so here it is looks super cool and I really love the artwork and behind the Mario Kart photo op they also have this one as well so no one's in line for this one as of yet and then they had an awesome Mario Kart photo op that you could come it looks like you're driving a little Mario Kart so if you want that photo op, make sure to stop by City Walk in front of the theater because I think it's really worth it. It was super cute. Everyone's getting like the little photos, like a little Mario Kart character. Plaza is still under refurbishment. I wonder when they're planning to open this, but as of now, you cannot visit inside the plaza. Okay, no facade is showing quite yet for this Halloween Horror Nights house. Again, I'm sure a lot of work is being done behind the wall, but you cannot see much right now the top of the black tent. <laughs> Here's the current look at the back side of the house. Again, I could just see like a wood beam. It's always fun doing these updates just to see the progress. I came to look at this area location just to see if a tent went up, but as of yet, nothing. So we'll definitely be keeping our eye out in this area for the upcoming weeks. But right now, they're doing no construction in this house as of yet. Line for the Mario popcorn stand. It's pretty popular today, all the way down. So today is a Thursday, and there is no virtual queue reservation needed for Super Nintendo World. So anyone in the park can go in. Um, the day's pretty busy, so we're gonna walk in and just see what like the crowd looks like, how long the lines are, and just check it out real quick. And as expected, it is pretty busy inside. The line for the little games to get the keys are all pretty long. Oh, we got Mario and Luigi meeting. Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge is a 100 minute wait. Again, I've seen it way worse, so considering the crowds, that's not that bad. As of 1.30 p.m., Totsu Cafe is fully booked for today. So if this is something you really want to do, you do have to come early in the morning to try to get a return time because the last two times I came, they've been booked by like 1 p.m. And just like that, I am out of here. I just came in real quick just to show you the crowds and what the situation looks like on a Thursday weekday. Of course, in the next upcoming week, spring break will be sprinkling through. So they'll definitely be using that reservation virtual queue. But yeah, it is pretty packed. I did get spoiled because of soft opening, but I'm glad a lot of people are enjoying the land. I am curious because tomorrow, or by the time you're seeing this, it will be March 10th, which is Mario Day. So I'm wondering if Universal will do like maybe a little something, maybe give away a button or like mention in the park. So I will be keeping my eye out for that tomorrow because I'm just so curious. We're on 20 miles an hour right now. When she's fully grown, she'll be able to run 40 miles an hour. <laughs> As I was walking to City Walk, <gasps> Mario, his mustache. All right, so the park was busy, so we decided to eat outside at City Walk, and we got Chick Chick Chicken. We've had it before. We had the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, and it was good when we got it. All right, so I got the Nashville hot chicken tenders. It comes with three, the little bread and some pickles, and they give you two sauces. We got ranch and like their Chick Chick Chicken sauce, which is pretty good. I also ordered a side of seasoned fries. That was our first time getting the tenders. So there was three spice levels to choose from, which was hot, hotter, and hottest. I thought my spice tolerance was a little higher. I did get hotter, the middle one. And I gotta say, it was delicious, but it was hot. Like, while I was eating it, like I could feel like the burn. <laughs> Definitely bring a lot of napkins, but I'm just warning you, it is spicy. So next time I might try the hot one, just to see how that is. But it was delicious, I do like it. 
I thought maybe if I came to the Curious George parking lot, I could see the facade from the roof. But no, you cannot. Look at these walls. <laughs> there is no way I could see it unless I had some sort of selfie stick. <laughs> but uh, so I, I wanted to get you an update for the Curious George houses or house right now. But yeah, this wall is too tall. But while I'm up here, let's enjoy this view. You can actually see like the back lot from here. The War of the World sets and like that blue screen so that's kind of cool but I did want to see some HHN updates last year we were able to see like the updates from the parking garage Curious George but they did put these things up I guess they don't want people like peeking through maybe so that's why I can't show you the angles that I did last year yeah so this is where I used to come but now I can't see anything or can I? Nope. All right, so next time we come to the park, I'm gonna get on the studio tour so we can see the facade at Curious George. Um, and this time I didn't get on it because it was a little packed, but I should have just done it earlier. But I will next time so we can see the progress because I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to see the progress of those two houses from here on out. All right, everyone, so I know that this video was super short. The park was actually pretty packed today, so I didn't do much and there wasn't a lot of updates but I just want to show you like the little updates that I did find. But for now, don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and we're gonna have more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye guys.